Hello everyone. I have taken these two notebooks and they are fixed such a way that if I apply force on these two, I try to separate. I can't. And if you do it with your friends and siblings at home, you can't do it. Even a bodybuilder cannot separate these notebooks. Now, why? Because these notebooks pages are placed such a way that they are one after the another. Now, the friction, the force of friction acts between the two surfaces in contact. And that opposes the motion. When I try to separate, when I try to separate, they pull back due to the friction. Now, to understand more about friction, we have this diagram and this is an object. This object is placed over this table. When I apply force on this box, on the right hand side, the friction will act on the surface between these two surfaces in opposite direction. If I pull it that side, push it that side, it will be this side. So friction is always opposite to the motion. If I take this as the box which is placed on a table, in this position, if we are applying force in this side, in that case, the force of friction will act between these two surfaces in contact here along this line of action. And this friction is opposite to the applied force. If we increase applied force, the friction also increases up to certain limit and the weight is acting downwards. So friction is a force acting opposite to the applied force and this is resistive in nature because it opposes the motion. The factors affecting friction, there are two factors affecting the friction. One is the nature of the surface. If the surface is rough, there will be more friction between those two surfaces. If the surface is smooth, the things can slip over them and the friction will be less. So it depends upon nature of the surfaces in contact. Second thing, weight of the object. How heavy the object is. If the object is heavier, the friction will be more. If the object is lighter, the friction will be less. If I move to try to move this table, then also the friction is acting between the two surfaces in nature. And here this is heavy object and that's why the friction will be more. At times we get confused that friction depends upon area in contact. But no, it does not depend upon area in contact. To prove that friction depends upon the mass or the weight of the object but not the friction, I have taken two identical boxes. One is full, one is empty. Their surface area in contact is same. So we know that to make this one move, which is heavier, I have to apply force, the friction is more. And in this case, the friction applied will be less because it is empty and its mass is less, though the area in contact is same. If I place one more box over this, the weight is increased. Area and contact is same. Okay. So if friction would have been depending upon area of contact, friction should have not been changed. But I know that if it is heavier, I have to apply more force to make it move. It means the friction is increased. So when I increase the weight of the object, keeping the area in contact same, the friction has increased. So what have we understood? That friction depends upon mass of the body, weight of the body, but not upon the area in contact.